welcome to my channel. My name is Brittany and today I'm going to be filming for you what my kids are getting in their Christmas stocking for Christmas morning. So I have a three-year-old girl and an 18-month old boy. So if you're stuck on what to get your kiddos for Christmas, definitely continue watching. If you're also stuck on presents for under the tree, I will link my video um, that I previously filmed for that in the description box. So you can just click there if you need some more ideas. Um, and I'm also going to be filming a feature what I got my husband for Christmas. So if you would interested in seeing that, subscribe to our channel so that you can make sure you don't miss those. So um, that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started. So first, let me just start off by telling you a little bit about what goes in the kids' stocking every year. Um, so I guess like my stocking philosophy, if you will. Um, so typically I give the kids, of course, a sweet treat here and there. I try not to overdo it with the candy, but I mean, you've got to have a little bit of candy for Christmas. So there will be some. I also try to put in some fun activities for them to do on Christmas morning because for um, our family, we open stockings first thing when they come downstairs for Christmas and then we do breakfast. So they have to be patient and wait to open their gifts, which is really hard. So I try to give them a few things um, in their stocking to kind of help them with that uh, being patient. And then I also give them some practical things that I just was gonna buy them anyway, because why not put it in the stocking. And then um, the last thing is I try to give like a few educational things or things for us on the go. So you'll see a few of those items as well. Okay, so before I show you the stockings real quick, uh, or the stocking stuffers, I should say, let me show you the stockings. So these are the stockings that we are using this year. So these came from um, Target, Hearth and Hand, Magnolia, um, area now I bought these I think last year and maybe the year before um, I think I added Ollie's last year but the year before that we had ours already picked out so I don't know if they still have these ones or not but these are the stockings that we are using this year so I'm gonna start with Layton my three-year-old um, because in my video previously I started with Ollie so I'll switch it up um, so first of all a tip is to keep everything inside of a bag um, separated by you know child and then that way for Christmas you just pull it out and it's really simple so um, that's what I'm doing this year for sure okay so here's my stocking stuffers that are going in her basket so let's start with the sweet treats so she is going to be getting these <laughs> of course now my dogs are looking at me these marshmallow peeps um, so she likes the marshmallows treats. She loves these. We get them to, for her, you know, for Easter. Um, so I just got her a small one for Christmas so that it didn't take up too much room in the stocking. I like that it's on a stick. It can stick out of the stocking. So that's a, a treat she's going to be receiving. She's also going to get a pack of mini M&Ms. Um, so just a small candy treat. Like I said, I try not to overdo it for Christmas, but she will be getting some of these. She's also going to get some Linden chocolates um, that I'll probably put in there. I think I left those out, so I'll make sure I put those in. And then also some gummy bears on like a little candy cane. She loves gummy bears and gummy treats. She got that from her father who also loves gummies. I'm more of a chocolate person myself, but she loves the gummies. So we're gonna make sure she gets those. I actually ordered it from Target. Um, I did like a Target drive up order which I love doing um, those those are life-changing if you've never tried that but anyway so I drove up and got an order and came back home and unfortunately I didn't see the gummies in my order I don't know if a bag got left behind or what the case may be so um, that and that never really happens targets always on it so I'm gonna have to make sure I get those but um, otherwise that's the candy she's getting all right, so let's move on to practical things that she's gonna get this year. So she could always use a water bottle. Um, so she's gonna get a water bottle. This is $10 at Target. I wanted just something pretty inexpensive. This is the Pillow Fort brand. Uh, you press the, 
button and the straw comes out. She's always needing water bottles at daycare, so I thought this would be perfect in her stocking. And it fits really nicely in like the toe of the stocking. So um, I like that idea. And I can also open it and put the M&Ms in here if I need a little extra storage for my stocking because right now it's getting a little too full. Something else practical you can put in your stocking, and I was gonna put this in their stocking, but I'm starting to run out of room, so it may not make it in there, is this um, these snack cups with the little handles. So this is the We Sprout brand. I got this off Amazon in a two pack. Um, so I got one for her, and then I'll show you Ollie's when I do Ollie's stocking. Um, but it was pretty, like, I think they were like $13 for two of them, something like that, 13 and change. But we really need these um, badly, so I just went ahead and got them and was gonna put them in their stocking, but I may be out of room. So these may just be, um, you know, in our kitchen. I'll give it to them now, but it's something practical you could, you could do. Something else practical for her is she is in need of hair ties. She, Right now we've been using those like little white elastic ones and they're always pulling at her hair and stuff. And I think she's kind of outgrown those. So um, went ahead and got her some black hair ties. I'm probably gonna be stealing these because I'm always losing hair ties. I also got her some hair clips. So these are just some like nude, uh, pretty pink, white, taupe um, hair clips that she can wear for school. So. This was like five dollars uh, nice little practical thing to throw in your kids stocking all right moving on to some fun things for them to do or some educational type things that they can do as well one thing she is getting is this water wow from melissa and doug i love the water wow brand um, i think it's a great brand and i saw this on amazon it was on sale it was a three pack and it came with this water wow letters. Layton's learning a lot of letters at school right now, so it's perfect. Um, it takes up a lot of the stocking, but you know, I think it's something she can do in the car, it's something she can do Christmas morning. Uh, I love these. So if you're not familiar with water wow, you basically just fill water in, the, in this little brush and you can write on the pages and it's reusable, so it's great. Also kind of going with that crafty theme, she's getting some crayons. These were from the Dollar Tree. Um, so the Dollar Tree actually has a lot of different crayons in different colors that I've never seen. So this is the Colors of Kindness and then uh, glitter crayons. So I think that's really cool that they have all these different brands. And this might just be something I keep in our diaper bag until we're out and about and in need of um, some new crayons because we have a lot of crayons already at home okay the next thing I want to show you is actually something that I've been making um, so I've been making these little play-doh kits and I've been selling them on Etsy so if you're interested I'll link my shop but even if you don't shop from my shop there are lots of cute play-doh kits you can find on Etsy so this is a Christmas themed one that I made um, it comes with like a little Santa Claus, uh, red, green, and white Play-Doh. It comes with a little Christmas tree and presents. So this is just a really good way to build that pretend play. My daughter loves these Play-Doh kits. Um, so I just really enjoy watching them, her play with them, something I made. I started when she had a birthday party and I just made one for her party guests. And then it just kind of stemmed from there. So. Um, like I said, there are, I'll link my shop, but there are tons of Play-Doh kits you can find um, from all different Etsy sellers. I've bought in some and now I'm selling some, but I just love buying these as well. I think they're really fun and creative and cool. So that's going to go in her stocking. All right, the next thing that's going to go in her stocking are these pop tubes. So I got these and these are really affordable. You can get them for like $5 and they come in a pack but they just kind of like make these noises and you can you know, adjust them and play with them. So she's getting a purple and yellow one. I got it in a four pack. Like I said, that um, I'm gonna split up between her and Ollie, but I think she'll have fun just doing imaginative play with these. 
All right, the next thing I got from her was on Amazon. It is called I Found It. It is a card game. So the, my understanding of the way this works is you have a little card um, that shows you like an item to find and you have to look at a hidden picture scene and find that item. So I think she's really gonna like this um, because she enjoys like those Where's Waldo books and those I Spy books. She has fun with those kind of type things. So this is a whole card game we can play or we can hand it to her when we're driving in the car. Um, so I thought that was really cool. So I will make sure I put that link below and I can link pretty much all of these items below. The next item, I probably can't link this, but this is a Dollar Tree. It was just like a little tiny Barbie purse set. My daughter really doesn't have that many Barbies, but we've been into the calico critters. Um, so I thought she could use these with her calico critters. So even if you're not, your child's not into Barbies and she likes something else, this would still work with different type of dolls. So just a cute little four purse set. All right, uh, so these items are also gonna go in her stocking. I got two of these little calico critters. Like I just said, she's into calico critters. Uh, little surprise bags. So um, they come with lots of different calico critter babies and the babies have a treat inside. So here's all the different options you can get. I just thought that was really cool and I think she's gonna really enjoy this because she's getting a whole calico critter family for Christmas as well. So um, yeah, really cute. And I love the calico critters, they are adorable. All right, so this is the last item that's going in her stocking. I try to put a stuffed animal in their stocking every year and typically I go for Jelly Cat brand. So this stuffed animal I ordered is probably not gonna go in her stocking, so I'm just gonna put it in the video anyway, but it's probably gonna go either on top of the mantle above her stocking or it will go under the tree because it was much larger than, well, I actually kind of knew it was gonna be a little large, but um, I just knew she would love this stuffed animal, so I had to get it anyway. But this is, I would say, this came off of Amazon. It is a spirit little cuddle. You can like cuddle it and sleep with it. Stuffed animal. Um, like I said, Amazon actually did a really good job showing me the size. I felt like the pictures were pretty accurate, but I was like, you know what? Let me just order it and see if it'll work in the stocking. And clearly it's not going to, but it'll go on the mantle or under the tree. And I didn't include it in the gift guide video. So I just wanted to throw it in here for you. But stuffed animals are a great thing to throw in stockings. I love the Jelly Cat brand. Um, Target also has some really cute ones from F F FAO Shorts. Is that how you say? Or FAO Shorts? I don't know. But um, they look really cute. They have some cute ones there too. So this is the stuffed animal she's going to get this year because it's kind of just a tradition. All right, guys, let's go ahead and move on to Ollie's stocking and show you what Ollie is getting on Christmas morning. So like I mentioned, Ollie is 18 months. Um, he'll actually be 19 months on Christmas Day, but um, I'm trying to, you know, give him some things that are like more geared towards even two year olds because I just feel like I want something he'll grow into. 18 months is such a hard age because it's so close to being a baby but also like so close to being a toddler. So I tried to go more like towards the toddler route and that's what he enjoys more now anyway. Um, so I'm trying to, you know, if that makes sense, I'm trying to give him things that are a little bit more like t geared towards two year olds because I know that he'll be there soon anyway. All right, so starting off with his sweet treats, I'm also going to be giving Ollie some small M&Ms. Um, I think he can handle just a small bit of chocolate even if it means that he is sharing it with me, I'm okay with that. I'm willing, it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Um, but yeah, I, I'll give him a little bit of chocolate. I'm also gonna give him some peeps. Again, I don't know if he'll even eat these or if he'll just gonna be grossed out by them. Again, if he doesn't like them, then my husband and I will gladly step in. Okay. So, Ollie is gonna get a water bottle, just like Layton. This is, again, the Pillow Fort brand. Again, it was $10 at Target. You press the button, and it has a straw. It's 
um, insulated. I really like that because most insulated cups cost $20 or, you know, maybe 15, but a lot of them are like double the price. So I just went with the pillow fort brand and I really like the design and it's very nineties. Um, but yeah, it's cute. The practical thing you can get is your child's snack cup. Um, so again, this probably won't make the cut in this year's stocking because it's just too bulky. Um, I mean, it fits fine in the stocking, it would work, but because of the water bottle and stuff, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just take it out. So this is from the Wee Sprout brand. Um, again, it's a nice practical thing you could put in your stocking for your child. This came in a two pack. Um, so I bought these off Amazon in a two pack. And if you have a boy and girl, it's perfect. Um, so that's gonna be probably not going in the stocking, but I still wanted to share it for an extra idea. All right, so now we're just gonna move on to some things that he can just, some activities he can do and things like that. So he is also getting a water wow. This is the Melissa and Doug water wow, and this one is for animals. Um, so like I mentioned earlier with my daughter, the way it works is you can fill this little pen tool with water and you can just write on these pages and reuse it over and over. This came in a three pack with one with letters and one with numbers. So my daughter's gonna get the letters one, he'll get this one, and then the numbers one um, I'll just save for a future thing. But yeah, so lots of cute different things he can, four different little act, animal activity things he can color, so. To go with him learning how to color, I also got him his first set of toddler crayons. So these say they start at 12 months. Um, I remember using them with my daughter and uh, they worked okay. I thought she was able to kind of hold on to it and write with it. She wasn't super like into coloring in the beginning, um, but they worked fine for her. So I thought I'll go ahead and get Ollie his first little set. Ollie is also getting some pop tubes. I mentioned in Layton's video as well that he is going to be um, splitting these. It was a four pack. So this is a really good thing for toddlers. You can bend it to make certain noises. Uh, I think he's going to really enjoy this because he loves anything that makes sound. Here's an item that I ordered and this is one of those classic ordered it online mistakes and thought it was going to be a lot smaller. Um, so this is a munchkin bath toy I think this is really cool it has these wheels and you can pour the water in and it spills so this is one of the items that I am planning on seeing first of all if I can take it out and put it in the stocking still um, it's just out of its packaging if that doesn't work then I will be um, just putting it under the tree or something but I think I should be, I think I will have enough room to take it out and put it in because I, I tried to test a little bit of it, but I wanted to leave it in its packaging just to show you guys. But I think this is a really cool, bath toys are also like just a great thing to replace now and then. So um, I think he'll like that. Another thing that I found on Amazon is this My First Animals, it's a touch and feel flashcard set. I thought this was really neat that they had texturized flashcards. We're really trying to build his vocabulary and his learning. So, um, and he really likes like touch and feel books. So I think this is gonna be a really fun activity for him to do with us. All right, y'all. So the last few items that I got for Ollie, um, he's getting this little people fire truck. So really cute. I love the little people brand, um, especially now that my son, I was never super into it with my daughter but my son's really into cars and they have really cute cars and little people to go into them. So um, I'm starting to explore this brand more. But anyway, I think this is a really cute little addition and it was only about $5 to add to his stocking. And then lastly, like I mentioned, it's kind of a tradition for us to give them a nice stuffed animal for Christmas. So he is getting this jelly cat puppy I love the Jelly Cat brand. They are a little bit pricier, but um, we don't buy stuffed animals very often. So I think, you know, just adding to their collection when you can is a nice thing, nice tradition to start. So he's gonna be getting this popping out of his stocking. I do think this one 
it's gonna be tight it's gonna be a snug but I think it will fit so um, we are I do plan on putting this in his stocking but if not I'll put it over the mantle or under the tree with Layton's big stuffed animal that was a lot bigger than um, I was hoping so that is everything that my kids are getting for Christmas this year in their stocking I hope that you enjoyed watching this and it gave you ideas. Let me know in the comments what you're giving your child for their stocking this year. Um, and like I said, please subscribe and give this a like. I will be posting a wrap with me and a what my husband is getting in his stocking um, coming soon. So please join me. I hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving because I'm gonna post this like the day before and a Merry Christmas if Thanksgiving is already over when you're watching this. <laughs> Bye, y'all.